So the last uh, element for this 3D CF model is the measurements. Those are going to track our variation at our desired outputs. In this case, we're going to look at the gap between the top of the power button here and the surface on the button plate here, as well as the clearance around the audio jack and the uh, audio jack itself. So we've already added the measure on this side. We need to create the measurement on this side of the power button. So to do that, we're going to use a point distance measure, which is just going to measure how far apart two points are. And then we're just going to define what our two features are. In this case, our object is going to be our power button here. So we're going to measure from the power button to the button plate here. Once we do that, we're going to be measuring along the vector that's normal to that top surface, the associated direction. We can specify our spec, our spec limits, which is the allowable amount of variation. In this case, we're going to use our upper spec of 0 0.2 with a lower spec of 0. This spec mode of being absolute is then uh, zero based, so it will ignore the nominal value. We could always use relative and go back to that nominal value, but in this case, because it's a gap, we want to check to see if there's any potential interference, which is what the zero will represent. So currently we have a distance of 5 point, or 0.557. If we nominal build, update to our current, our current is 0 0.076. So that's how you can add your outputs to the model. Uh, we've already created a couple more. Um, just the gap on this end of the power button. A parallel check which will take the difference of these two gaps to see the parallel condition between the uh, plate and the button. And then one more at the uh, audio jack here, checking the clearance between the audio jack and the button plate.